Hello everyone, this is Rakesh and today we are going to learn how to display friend values in Visual Force page. For that we need some knowledge. So click on this accounts tab and click on this new and here we go. These are all the fields of this account object. So how exactly we can know that uh, what the name of this field. These are actually the labels not the field name. Okay, click here and click on this view fields. Now these are the field labels and these are the field names and these are the data types okay so we gonna to access the field name from here okay come here and then delete that and write apex okay we are going to create our new visual force page okay so give your name um what should be my visual force name or uh, it should be like glass hit enter now click on this link to create a new page now this is our page and this is the code behind this okay delete that make the font bigger so you can easily see that right as we know html start with this type of tag so okay? this is the opening one and this is the closing one okay so all the code goes between these two tags just like in html we have a new tag that is called apex page this is the closing one and this is the this is the opening one right and this is the closing one okay yeah this this is the closing one right like in html so in visual force page we have to write this and all the code of this visual force page goes in between these two tags let's start now one thing more that is this is the expression tags whatever oops what is going on okay let me oh that's right so i'm telling you that this is the expression language tags and whatever things goes in between this tag in between this curly braces okay is evaluated as an expression like if i write dollar user dot first name okay so what is this this is a global variable user is a global variable and every global variable comes with this dollar symbol okay as a prefix now with this dot notation we are gonna to access the first name field of this user right simple control s to save and here we go rakesh now just copy that and paste it now we are going to access the last name field of this user which is globally available okay save it and now we go rock sony so user is a global variable okay so um, anyone who can log in in this org this code gonna to show the user first name and this code will show the last name of that user okay got it now this is about the global variable okay but if we want to display this account object contact object or opportunity object fields then how exactly we can do that so for that we need to go for the controller so what exactly a controller controller is a simple class okay like in java we create uh, classes and methods so controller is called also called class or the class here in salesforce we call it controller okay so for that we need to write here a standard controller okay standard controller and now give the name of the object okay account right let me okay now so we are going to use the controller of that account okay so we have to define it in the apex page opening apex page tag 
okay standard control equal to in the double quotes between the double quotes account now it's time to show something like mm, you are viewing the account of colon now again use this expression tag and write here account okay and now what happened that this account will call the account object controllers one method that is called get account okay and the get account returns the id of the record which is in context okay now on the behalf of that id with this dot notation okay with this dot we are going to access the name field right because if we go there there is a name field of this account okay so we are going to access the name field right now save it and here we go rakesh Shoni, that's fine you are viewing the account of colon nothing yeah now i want to tell you something as I have said that this account will call the controller, this account object controller, a standard controller, a method that is called get account, okay, which returns the ID of the particular record which is in context. So here there is no ID or record, okay, because of that there is blank. So how exactly we do, do that, okay, come here click on this accounts tab and now click on this go button okay so here's the list of all the accounts already created right click any of them and now here are the ids a 15 digit id copy that and then come to our own page and here write question mark id equal to paste not write paste I have just copied okay so just paste it the id okay now hit enter here we go the name of that account okay now this will call this account object controllers method that is called get account and the get account returns the id of the record which is in context right and then with this dot notation we are going to display the name field that's it so in this way we can display the name or any field okay in our visual force page so for now if you don't find it right say that and type exactly practice more so you can be the champion right Okay, for now, thank you. Goodbye.